Hi, Hi. Chloe. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. I am so excited to talk to y'all about this movie, but also just in general, because I am huge fa- a huge fan of both of you. So it's really nice to meet you, even if it's virtual. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Yes. So to start off, I think this might be one of the funniest Christmas movies I have like ever seen. I was cracking up the entire time and it really made me think about all the instances where I've lived with different family members and just the chaos of the holidays in general. And I was wondering if you had any particular holiday memories or particular holiday um, instances that just make you laugh when you think about them or that you think fondly about. Um, my my mother-in-law is obsessed with Christmas and they she has like a big Italian family. She does a big, huge Christmas dinner every year. And uh My dad has joined us for, for several of the years and they do a gift stealing game every year. And, um, that just becomes an absolute, it's just chaos. It's, it's everybody trying to get the LC, the the liquor store in Canada is called the LCBO and it's everybody trying to get the LCBO gift card and not get stuck with like the ornament, like the, the plate like it just there's garbage gifts and there's good gifts and uh you're stealing and you're passing around and uh my dad always makes it hysterical my 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 wife's grandmother always ends up the one who steals the best gift at the end because she was the oldest and she just took precedent just grabbed whatever she wanted she took an uber gift card one year and everyone's like why do you want this she's like everyone else wanted it i'm taking it Uh hey she knows how to play she's funny and uh, so like those those times are really great everybody just sitting around yelling at each other in the best way possible That's yeah awesome. so yelling so yelling's your favorite yeah. part. screaming at each other hor- saying horrible things but you know that you're being nice i mean honestly mine involves yelling too but it's not so nice <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> honestly, i don't i don't I, there's no traditions that we have in our in our home if that's what you're asking we we do a lot of like hanging out um it's infuriating to people living in cold weather but we like go to the beach or we go in our pool or jacuzzi hmm. okay we have snacks by the jacuzzi that's what we typically that's do. enough next question call it jacuterie <laughs> um, it's our charcuterie board by the jacuzzi that's um, genius how do we do it? say jacuzzi one more time we go on the jacuzzi and we get it hot and then we turn on the lights and then sometimes we'll post made sushi um and then it's it's just like it's so nice i mean we're not we're not like super christmasy um but i like christmas day so are there any other games uh the game scene in the movie is one of the standout moments and actually i have played a stealing game before that made my sister cry so i totally understand the intensity of holiday games they get really intense really fast uh what games aside from the stealing game do y'all get super competitive with on set we were playing a game that Leighton um showed everybody called spyfall and uh it's great it's you just need phones for it everybody logs into like this or no you just Leighton just pass her phone around you press a little button and it gives you an occupation and a location and everybody has the same um location that gets an occupation except for two people who are spies and you have to ask each other questions and figure out who the spies are and the whole cast would play it every day uh we never let jonah the director play because he always had to do work and he always wanted to play uh but we'd be like no jonah you gotta you have to work um but uh we got very competitive and it was very fun um was it called any favorite games by phone yeah i'll have to download that it's really funny download it i i mean maybe there's an app but i clearly don't think it was just a website right it's a website i totally missed it you said that okay i'll remember that it's really it's no i probably said it wrong (laughs) um and then so the movie hinges on the idea obviously that Allie and Graham are exes who have to spend time together throughout the holidays what advice would you give someone who might run into an ex unexpectedly over the holidays well I mean, I think it's inevitable if you're like always going back to your hometown, like you're going to like go into, in my instance, like I left my hometown when I was too young to have boyfriends. I never do. 
But when I've gone back home, like inevitably you see somebody from your upbringing or somebody, you know what I mean? And you'd see them at the Crazy Flamingo. Okay. This is the name of the bar in my hometown. And that's where you go. The Crazy Flamingo. You can get your drinks to go with a to go. (laughs) Okay. Um, And you're going to run into some people, you know, Um, I ran into my best friend growing up, her mom, she came up to me and was like, oh my God, you're so great. Wait, you're like, we miss you and and never get married because men are horrible. I'm like, oh, are you talking oh, about wow. my He's like, dad. And um, so I heard about yes. her divorce, okay? And um, I know a lot. I know a lot. Okay. So yes. you got to listen. You got to know that they're going to be saying some stuff on Facebook you don't agree with, okay? And you just gotta get hammered and have it and have a nice time. What what else can you do? And lie. Tell them how great you're doing, all the amazing things you got going on. Doesn't matter if it's true. Make it up. Doesn't matter. You're never gonna see them again. Fake it. You're gonna see them next Christmas. And you'll build your you got a full year to build those lies even bigger and grander. Hey, it is what it is. You just gotta do your best yeah and so to kind of wrap up I have some holiday themed rapid fire questions that you can answer as long as short as you want what is the first Christmas song that you press play on when the holiday season starts if you listen to Christmas music actually this Alexa play Christmas music that's it that's what that's what was yelled the second Halloween was over and she started. I don't know what the first one was. It was probably Mariah Carey, but oh, she just rips into it. We like we like a little Vince Scaraldi peanuts, uh, like Charlie Brown. Yes. Christmas time is here. Honestly, the best. Soothing. I know. It really is very relaxing. Each boy's um, sync. Album NSYNC too. has a nice Christmas album. Okay. Jonas Brothers have a pretty nice Christmas song, surprisingly. Okay. Um, Here's some solid Elvis, recommendations. Elvis Christmas, very good. Paul McCartney Christmas. <laughs> Beach Boys Christmas. Beach Boys Christmas, strong. Is there anything else we can tell you about our Christmas songs? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> Do you have any favorite holiday dishes that you're excited to make? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my hand at some uh, mashed potatoes. Okay. Um, my children are old enough now; they can peel potatoes. Little hands, you know what I mean. And um, <laughs> like to work. they can put make pie crusts. <laughs> another one where they have to make dough um i'm excited to make this i saw a recipe that was using the peels from the potato frying them so you get a crispy potato Ooh. skin top okay i forget where i saw it like some bon appetit style youtube video um that looks to me because it's like people who like like chunky is that the word um uh not <laughs> smooth <laughs> not smooth <laughs> potatoes anyway i'm gonna do that one uh, my wife makes um, uh, like brittle Christmas brittle. It's like oh, she goes yeah. saltine crackers, homemade caramel, chocolate, and uh, salt. Like the salted caramel, it's just so good. It's and then she she makes it, bakes it, fridge cracks it, unreal. Oh, I love that. And last question, what is your holiday comfort movie? Xmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I've heard of that. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> must be like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Um, Home Alone is a, it's yeah. always a winner. Yeah, that, hit, that hits. I like that one. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk uh, with me. I have seriously followed y'all's careers for like 10 years. So it was really lovely to be able to chat with you. Congrats on this movie. Thank you. Thanks, Chloe. Nice talking with you.